Okay, so I was asked to put some of my most go-to meals on a little compilation. So I'm going to do one meal and just each time and kind of put them all together day by day. So today's meal, today's crock pot meal, and I just have the Hamilton Beach regular crock pot from Walmart, nothing super, super fancy. I have two pounds of chicken, or roughly two pounds. This is my Zacon Fresh. Uh, order of chicken it comes with 40 pounds it's like natural hormone free da 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 da, da. i will have my zacon uh, fresh link down below if you're interested pretty good deal it's like a dollar 89 a pound which is cheaper than i can get at my local grocery store so we get the 40 pound batch and then we separate it and put it into um, individual bags with the sealer machine to take all the air out of it and freeze it. So this one is about a little over two, I think it's like 2.2 pounds and it's three large chicken breasts. And I am going to do an on the border salsa, the mild salsa, and literally all I'm going to do is dump this entire thing in here and let it cook on high for four hours or low six to seven. This is my favorite salsa to use with this chicken, but literally dump the whole thing in, whole jar in there with the chicken, let it cook. I have mine on high, so I will cook it about two hours or so and then turn it on low for another three and shred it up when you're done. I will show you when it's all done in the next few hours. So here's the chicken cooked on high for about three and a half hours. I just turned it down to low and it actually is pretty much, I mean, the, this is like juice from the chicken and from the sauce. So now you can see it just kind of falls apart. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and like halfway chop this. I'm not going to shred it. I'm just chopping it with my little spatula and you could do many things with this chicken uh, many things we usually do it with either uh, Mexican Spanish rice with beans you could do it um, chicken flautas chicken enchiladas usually I do it with a Mexican dish just because it's chicken salsa I mean <laughs> you know that's typically what we do but now I just shred it all up or not shred it kind of piece it apart and stir it so that some of the inside pieces of chicken get some of the salsa as well. And then I'll let that sit there on low until dinner time. And it is so delicious, so scrumptious. Oop, there we go. It really has like the best flavor. Seriously, so good. My girls love it, Andres loves it. Everyone that has ever tried it that I've made it for loves it. And it is just so good. So just let that set. You can add your own seasonings if you like, but I find that the salsa seasons it perfectly. There is my salsa chicken. So tonight we're doing it with um, chicken tacos. I just have some taco shells. I'm gonna put some shredded cheese on the grills, but you can put anything that you like. I was going to make taco, bowl, taco bowls with the chicken, but I didn't have enough time to make everything that goes with it. So chicken tacos it is. Another crock pot meal is Italian chicken. You can do this a couple of different ways. I've seen it done two different ways. I'm going to do it very basic today. I sprayed my crock pot down. I have three and a half pounds of just chicken breast in there, boneless and skinless. You could use it with any kind of chicken. I've seen it done with chicken thighs as well. I have on some gloves since I'm dealing with the chicken, but I'm just going to take, this is just the Hill Country Fair brand, which is H-E-B's off brand. Zesty Italian dressing, you can use light Italian, you can use regular Italian, you can use anything you really want. I just like the Zesty because it has more of a kick to it. And um, This is a 16 fluid ounce bottle. I'm gonna dump the entire bottle in there. And then if it looks like I have enough, I'm, I have a couple more chicken breasts I'm going to put in there. And I have it on high. I'm gonna let this cook for about four hours. I did go ahead and put the other two chicken breasts in there, so now we have about five and a half, almost six pounds of chicken breast in there with a whole bottle of Italian. And about halfway after the two hours, I'm gonna let that cook on high for four. About halfway through, so around two hours, um, I will go ahead and stir it up just to make sure like the chicken juices and everything are kind of put all together, and then when it's done, you shred it and it's good. So I will show you when it gets to that point. So this is what the chicken looks like when it's pretty much done. It's been about four hours and on high. And as you can see, this chicken 
produce a lot of water and juice so it doesn't it'll thicken up if once I turn the heat down it's just super hot right now but pretty much all I did was let it cook until the chicken was very shreddable like I didn't even take this out to shred it I just kind of took it apart with the tongs and it just shredded itself it's very very pliable it is so cooked so um, when you shred it up like this it just helps all the meat kind of get more flavor from the Italian dressing and then it also helps it like completely cook through and like I said this will thicken up and then you can serve this over rice you can serve it with mashed potatoes regular potatoes green beans that's probably how we're gonna end up having it super delicious lots and lots of flavor and obviously it is a lot of meat. This was five and a half pounds of chicken, so it was a lot. You can cut this in half. You don't have to use an entire bottle of uh, Italian dressing. You can use half a bottle, depending on how big your family is, but we're gonna meal prep with this also. So I wanted a nice big portion. So yeah, there you go. There is my Italian chicken. Tonight for dinner we're doing beef and broccoli. I will post the link to this down below, but essentially it's just flank steak. I think I use beef cubes, cubed beef, something like that. Stew meat type of meat. Uh, coated it with some cornstarch. I have my mixture right here. I'm going to pour right over it. And I am going to let this cook out. For several hours and then add the broccoli later and I will show you guys the finished product but like I said I'll have the recipe the exact recipe I followed linked down below so I just threw in I don't know probably about three cups of chopped organic broccoli it could be frozen I've used frozen before too this one is just fresh oh you can see there's a leaf there I'm just gonna stir this around and the meat is already cooked all the way through it's been on low for about five hours now so the last little bit I'm just throwing in the broccoli I'm gonna leave this cooking until dinner time probably about an hour hour and a half and then I'm also going to throw in some carrots just because I like to throw in vegetables wherever I can so I'm chopping up some baby carrots over here for that I think I probably used a large handful, maybe like eight to 10, and I'm gonna toss those in as well. Today we have another crock pot meal. Crock pot, I always feel like I say that wrong. I'm going to do my homestyle turkey meatballs. These are from Costco, and some Bertoli organic olive oil, basil, and garlic sauce, also from Costco. So tonight we're having spaghetti meatballs, and this is the first portion of it. Spaghetti meatballs are super, super easy. You can always use homemade meatballs. I'm just not. Turkey meatballs are really, really good. They're frozen, but they're cooked all the way through. So all you have to do is really like heat them up. And this is the best way to do it to get the best flavor all throughout the day. Let it cook, slow cook, and it just turns out amazing. So let me show you guys. So I had about two thirds of a bag left of the turkey meatballs, so I'm just gonna cook the entire thing. I'm using two whole jars of the Bertoli sauce, and I'm gonna add in my own seasoning as well, which I will show you guys. I did end up putting another jar of the Bertoli sauce. I think it was a little bit too many meatballs, um, but that's okay, we will have this for the next couple days for lunches or dinners or uh, whatever. But this is what it looks like after about Five hours in the crock pot, totally done. I added, as you guys saw in the last clip, a bunch of my own seasonings, even though the Bertoli sauce is great all on its own. Sizzling, I turned it down to warm. I will um, cook up some whole wheat spaghetti, have some garlic toast with it, and we are done for the night. This is so simple and easy. It's like a go-to meal for me, and it feeds a large family for pretty inexpensive, especially if you don't use as many meatballs as I did, <laughs> or you make your own, or you have smaller ones. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive meal, and a go-to, like I said, my whole family really, really likes it. Pretty easy and self-explanatory, I feel like, but I thought I would show you guys anyway, just because I always get the question of how I make certain things. So there you go, spaghetti and meatballs.